Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala syarifil anbiya wal mursalin sayidina wa nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuhum. Alhamdulillah all praises to Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala the almighty for allowing us to be here in this blessed month of Ramadan, the month of all goodness where every individual strive to do a lot of good deeds ranging from observing saum, fasting, performing tarawih, reciting the Al-Quran, increasing the number of zikir that we perform, do charity, and so on. While it's very good and to be highly motivated to do all the good deeds in the month of Ramadan, let us not to forget the objective of all this. Allah mentioned in the Holy Quran, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim, Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu, O who you believe, كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Fasting is prescribed to you and it was prescribed to those before you. For what reason and purpose? Allah SWT said, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ That you may become al-muttaqun, the pious. So Muslim rahimahumullah, one of the objective of observing a psalm fasting in the month of Ramadan is for us to attain the status of taqwa to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So what is taqwa? Taqwa is to always to remember Allah and never forget Him. Second, is always to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and not to go against Him. And thirdly, is to always to have shukur in our hearts be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't even think to be ungrateful or kufur to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we should constantly remind ourselves that whatever activities that we are going to do in the month of Ramadan, the objective is to gain, to attain a taqwa and not to other things. For example, we used to have the freedom and the luxury of performing taraweh, taraweh prayer in the month of Ramadan, Previously, we can freely go to any mosque of our choice. We can break our fast in the mosque and tikaf, do sunnah prayers without the time limit and so on. However, the situation has changed. Last year, none of us managed to perform taraweh prayer or any kind of activities in the mosque. But this year, inshallah, we'll be able to perform so with some rules and limitation. So maybe later, when we have the opportunity, we try to book for a taraweh prayer, for example, or qiyamul layl. And we may successfully book it. Then that's good, alhamdulillah. But remember, it's not because we have the fastest fingers. It's not because we have the best network coverage. It's not because that we are the best that we are able to do the booking successfully. It's actually with the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Similarly, on the other hand, if we try to do the booking, everything has been set in place, just waiting for the slot to be open. But then, for whatever reason, the booking slot already full for that particular mosque. Please don't be sad or despair. That happened also because of the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now we may not be understand that, but please, inshallah, have the faith with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, have taqwa to him. In fact, we should feel great and that a lot of Muslims are also have the similar intention to do the good deeds. We may not be able to perform our prayer in a mosque, but if Allah, if God wills, Insha'Allah, we will receive the similar rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if we done so with our family members, with the sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And nothing is impossible to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's the effort that counts, and it's not the end result. Remember, it's the effort and it's not the end result. Some people may see there's loopholes in the system and able to perform the taraweh most of the night in the mosque. On the surface, it looks like it's lucky that he gaining something, but the fact that may not be that way. He may just end up tiring himself without any rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And why is that so? Simply because there is no taqwa in his heart when doing the good deeds. So Ramadan and fasting is also train us to always have taqwa in our daily activities. So the action that we should take from this 
is to always remember the objective when doing good deeds is to attain taqwa to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to always remember he not to forget him always to obey Allah and not to get to go against him and to always have syukur to, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't ever think to be ungrateful or kufur and the benefit of doing that you will feel closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you feel more calm and good and insyaAllah you attain the taqwa and pleasure فَمَا اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى أَمِينَ رَبَّ الْعَالَمِينَ أَحْكُلُكَ لِهَذَا وَأَسْفَرُ الْحَالَ الْعَظِيمَ لِبَلَكُمْ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ تَع